Thursday, July 7th, here's your market review for today. Stocks moved up just slightly today. So did the bond market, pushing just above the 3% mark. We've seen some economic news happen this week. Specifically, we saw the Federal Reserve release their minutes. They're basically saying that they're on it with inflation. They're such a number one target right now. They want to get inflation down to the 2% target rate. Given that, bonds pushed higher. The 10-2 spread is still negative, day three or four. This usually signals to us that the market believes we're going for a recession. Keep this in mind. The economy drives the stock market. The stock market is actually an indicator of the economy. Given that, when we look at the economy, when we see what's about to happen, you'll realize that the market is about to go down in a big way. Consumer has contracted significantly. We will see the ripple effects of that starting in about August when companies start to report their earnings. What are they going to do when they report these poor earnings? They're also going to lay people off. I want to show you some economic indicators, specifically the uh, continuing claims and initial claims that came out today. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see, uh, Friday morning, we're going to see uh, non-farm payrolls. And I don't expect much movement when you look at continuing claims and initial claims. You see that it's pretty much flatline. The market may or may not like that. I tapped out of my S&P 500 short position. I had a risk reversal. I got out yesterday took out about 100 points on the S&P 500, selling calls, buying puts. I'm waiting and I'm going to reload. I'm going to let the market kind of bounce around a little bit, move back up higher, then I'm getting ready to go in. Let's look at some charts. This is continuing claims. Boy, COVID really just nailed it. Uh, this goes back, what about, what, 40, 50 years? A minute. We, COVID really shook the economy. But here's the thing. Despite the number of people that immediately got laid off, consumer sentiment today is worse than it was during COVID. That's how bad the consumer is contracting. That is a massive tsunami of poor earnings that we're about to hit late July all through August. Here's a closer look at continuing claims. You can see we're barely ticking up. Um, this is going to go up much higher because what will happen is companies are going to report poor earnings and then lay people off all in one go. That means that the economy will begin contracting even more from that round of layoffs. Then we'll start moderating out. That's when I'm... I'm putting together a new portfolio, value investing, and that's exactly when I plan on getting in, is once the consumer starts picking back up after this next wave, that's when I'm looking to go long for, for the long haul. Here we have initial claims, barely moving. I think we're at 3.6 unemployment expectations for non-farm payrolls uh, to, uh, Friday morning, 3.8%. I don't know that we're really going to see much movement. Considering we're looking at an initial claims and continuing claims, there really wasn't that much going on. I don't know that we might get to 3.8, maybe 3.7, maybe. Here's the S&P 500, and you can see the day moved up higher. I went long my risk reversal, in the last little bump up when it was at 39.20, and I sold 4,200 DS calls, and I bought 3,600 DS puts. Th that risk reversal, I actually paid premium about 25 points, uh, the calls over the puts. So a lot of the market players really felt that the market was going to go up or go down. But this was on the very last bump up that we just saw. And yet I'm still pay I had still paid a good premium uh, puts over calls. Nonetheless, I expect we may pop up between four and 4,200 in the next, say, two weeks. 
And then I'm getting ready to go ahead and go short again because I'm waiting for August when all the bad news shows up. Not really going to play around with the market until then. I think you're just playing around and you're potentially setting yourself up for a loss. I just pulled out 100 points, I'm not trying to give any back. I'm going to be patient. Remember this the economy drives the stock market, stock market is just an indicator. Given that, you want to make that big money, you got to look at the big picture. And the big picture is this market's going down. Here's a closer look. Um, you can see, yeah, I think we'll probably hit above, we'll probably go back up above the 3920 mark on the S&P 500. And we'll probably bop around a little bit in between there. I think we see what 4150 is, is uh, kind of the high there in that range. And we might stick in that range. And that's when I'm going to get ready to go uh, long, a short risk reversal. I'll be buying call, uh, puts, selling calls. The Federal Reserve came out with their minutes. You can see the spike up. They basically said, yep, interest rates are going to go up simply because we are going to fight inflation. They were kind of worried about their reputation, that they weren't on the ball. I've already said it. They were behind the ball. They should have started lifting a policy accommodation last summer. I said it back then. And things just kept getting heated up and now look where we are and that's that's on them uh given this the 10 2 spread the yield on the 10 is below the two that always signals to us that it's potentially a a recession we'll see moving forward um it might just be a short thing but i think the market believes that yeah we're definitely going into recession and we're just at the beginning of this Keep this in mind when, you, when you're when you looking at the broader market and when to time your stocks, whether you're buying or selling. The economy drives the stock market. I made, I made a pretty decent trade, pulled out 100 points on the S&P 500 on that short position. Um, you got to look at the bigger picture if you want to make those bigger moves. And right now, I'm letting the market settle out a little bit then I'm going back into a risk reversal, buying puts, selling calls. I always apply what's going on in the economy to what's going on in the stock market. But I'm always patient. And that's one of the key things when it comes to this. So stick around. I'll continue to show you the economic indicators that are going to drive the market. If you're patient enough, you can see these opportunities. You can make that big money. We'll see you in the next video.